It's recap time. I bring you one more recap. Today I'll explain a movie called Forrest Gump from 1994. So let's start. The film opens with a man in all white sitting on a bus stop bench. A woman takes the same bench, waiting for her bus to arrive. As she prefers reading her magazine, the man introduces himself as Forrest Gump and offers her some of his chocolates to strike up a conversation. Despite the woman not being interested in him, Gump goes down memory lane, starting with his first pair of shoes. He is seen getting his leg braces put on by a doctor alongside his mother. Gump walks around with his twig legs and falls to the ground. The mother takes him back home, and on her way, she lectures Gump not to feel different or disassociated from anyone else because of his condition. The old Gump narrates that he used to live alone with his mother in her ancestral home. The house had many empty rooms, so she would always rent them out to travelers and tourists, which was her earning source. In the flashback, Gump's mother takes him to get enrolled in a public school, but the principal declares him a retard with a low IQ level and refuses to enroll him. The mother doesn't give up and agrees to give the principal a dirty favor in exchange for Forrest's admission to his school. Forrest spots the principal coming out of his mother's room and leaving at night. Despite being alone, Gump and his mother never felt lonely because they would have tenants in their home all the time. One day, a man with a guitar rents one of their rooms and enjoys seeing Gump dancing with his twig legs to the song he sings. Days later, Gump and his mother spot the same guitar guy on the TV singing songs and copying Gump's moves. The man turns out to be none other than Elvis Presley. He then remembers his first time taking the school bus. Everyone dislikes him and refuses to share a seat, except for a girl named Jenny, whom Gump finds very beautiful and kind. From that day on, Jenny became his best friend. She takes him to the forest after school and teaches him how to climb a tree and read. One day, a few bullies hit Gump with stones and chased him on their bikes. Jenny tells Gump to run as fast as he can, so he runs faster than the wind. His braces fall off, and he runs so fast that he leaves the bullies far behind. That day, he doesn't stop running and gets noticed by people around town. Gump jumps to another memory of him going to Jenny's place. Jenny's with her father, who is a farmer and a pedophile. That day, Jenny runs with Gump in the cornfields and prays to God to be turned into a bird so she can fly away from her father. Luckily, the father hands Jenny to the cops and has her sent away to her grandmother's trailer home, which happens to be closer to Gump's house. Jenny often escapes from the trailer at night and sleeps with Gump. As the two grow into teenagers, Gump encounters bullying once again. A few boys run after Gump in their truck so Gump runs fast enough for the bullies to be left behind. This lands him on the college's football team. He remembers his college time as a rather confusing time. In the present, the woman with the magazine leaves as her bus arrives, so Gump moves on to another woman with a child. He narrates to her about Jenny moving away to an only girl's college. He would still go to meet her whenever he got the chance. In a flashback, he is seen waiting for Jenny. She arrives in a car with another man and starts making love with him. Gump walks through the rain and punches the guy while he's still inside the car. Jenny becomes startled, so she comes out of the car and pushes Gump away. Jenny sneaks Gump into her hostel room and shows him her bare body, seeing which Gump becomes terribly nervous. Up next, he makes it to the end of the college and graduates. A soldier hands Gump and his mother a pamphlet and tells Gump to decide his future. This swings him towards the army. When the army bus comes to pick him up, no one lets him sit by their side, except for one man, Bubba. On their first day, the drill sergeant finds Gump quite intelligent for the way he listens to him. When Gump and his platoon are tasked with assembling a rifle, Gump assembles it before anyone else and breaks the record. One night, one of the privates hands Gump a dirty magazine in which he finds an article about Jenny. He finds out that Jenny was kicked out of the school after her vulgar picture was leaked but was noticed by a man who made her a singer in his bar. Hence, Gump grabs the next bus to that place. He catches Jenny playing guitar while she is naked. A bunch of men start to grab Jenny's ankles, so Gump walks in, punches the men, and tries to pick Jenny up to take her backstage. Jenny finds this offensive and walks out on her own. Outside, he confesses that he loves her, but she claims he doesn't know a thing about love and hitches a ride to escape Gump. Gump reveals that he's being sent to Vietnam by the army, so Jenny comes back and advises him to run away from difficult situations instead of fighting. In Vietnam, Gump and Bubba come under Lieutenant Dan's command, who is a good man. Gump writes Jenny letters every day. When the enemies ambush them, Gump recalls Jenny's advice to run away and runs so fast that he leaves his platoon behind. 
Gump goes back and saves some injured soldiers, including Bubba and Dan. Gump cries as Bubba dies in his arms. They are taken back to the army hospital, where Gump is treated for taking a bullet in his buttock. He is also handed a bundle of letters that Jenny has been writing to him all this time. A man hooks Gump on table tennis, at which he's surprisingly good. When they are discharged, Gump receives a Medal of Honor from the President. He shows where he was shot on national TV. That day, his mother sleeps in the hotel room, and Gump goes out for a stroll. He is dragged into a rally that discourages war. When they bring Gump on the stage, someone unplugs the mic and mixes up the wires, so his speech goes unheard. At the rally, Jenny unites with Gump and introduces him to a group fighting for black lives. There, Gump spots Jenny getting slapped by her boyfriend, so he beats up the boyfriend and gets kicked out along with Jenny. That night, Jenny walks around the town with him and talks about her singing journey. The next morning, before leaving, Gump gives away his Medal of Honor to Jenny, giving her all the credit for it. She says her goodbyes and disappears from Gump's life once again. Gump returns to the Army service sector and cheers the hospitalized soldiers with his impeccable ping-pong skills. This lands him in a national ping-pong match in China, which he wins and becomes a celebrity. He was called in for an interview. When he walks out of there, he is approached by Lieutenant Dan, who is still pissed about being a cripple and is jealous of Gump's Medal of Honor. Gump pities Dan's condition and decides to spend the holidays with him. They attend a bar, where Gump recalls his promise of buying a shrimp boat with Bubba and decides to save money to buy one. At the bar, they celebrate the new year and bring home two girls, one of whom tries to come closer to Gump. Gump pushes her away, resulting in a fight. The girls call him stupid, which angers Dan. He kicks them out of his room. Afterwards, Gump goes back to the army, but instead is discharged and sent back home. There, his mother tells him to advertise someone's rackets in his next ping-pong game for $25,000. In order to fulfill his shrimp boat dream, he takes the offer and uses all the money to buy a boat. He goes to visit Bubba's wife and kids, and he visits Bubba's grave to lay down the expenses of the boat. In the beginning, he fails to catch shrimp. Lieutenant Dan joins him on his voyage as his partner, as he had promised at the bar. The two fail to catch shrimp together. One day they get stuck in a sea storm, it turns out all the other shrimp boats crashed and ruined their businesses, while Gump's boat stands tall and fishes all the shrimp. Their shrimp-selling business goes successful, so Gump hands it to Dan and comes back home upon finding his mother is dying. After the mother's death, Dan invests Gump's profit in the apple industry, making him a millionaire. Gump finds reserving money useless, so he donates most of it to a church and a hospital. He also gives Bubba's wife the share Bubba deserved. After all the success, he grows lonely at night and misses Jenny. To his surprise, Jenny shows up one day and starts living with him, but he finds her rather quiet. One night, he proposes to her, but she gets cold feet. She makes love to him at night and flees the next morning. Left alone, Gump feels no purpose in his life, so he starts running. He keeps running for three years all across America and gains publicity. A lot of his admirers start running after him and find hope and inspiration in him. One day, he stops running and returns home, where Jenny's letter is awaiting him. Jenny has called him to her place, due to which he's waiting to catch a bus and see her. After many people come and go, an old lady stays seated by his side, excitedly listening to his tales. She brings to Gump's attention that the address of Jenny that he's showing is only six blocks away and doesn't require a bus drive. Hence, Gump carelessly runs in the middle of the road and makes it to Jenny. Jenny is more than surprised to have him at her place. However, she breaks down that she is the mother of Gump's baby. She also reveals later that she's dying of a fatal illness, so he must marry her and take her home. He takes Jenny and the kid back home and marries her. Gump takes good care of Jenny and tells her all about his feelings towards her when he was out in the army. When she dies, he has her buried under the tree where they spent their childhood. The film ends with Gump sending his son to school via the school bus he used to take in his childhood.